Nay, Shalom Amaki and Brother Kanan back at you the truth. Start up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and teach while leading Israel by a great example to this day. Peace, citation to the elect, teaching and preaching the truth and his righteous experience, and sincerity, and waiting on Yahushai for salvation. Shalom Amaki. All right. I'm just going to uh, probably tie this lesson, you know, the daily bread. All right. Because it looked like last night um, when I did do my camp video. Look like Esau cut off uh, like a whole half of my video, and you know everything got broken. So you know, you know I just I was just hitting a couple of points about you know uh, the mark of the beast and um, how Jerusalem, you know how Jerusalem is lifting up a, a cry, you know day and night, you know, and and, and uh, basically just you know is getting into it, man, you know. So hey, man, you know we just probably cover a couple couple of points right now at this given point. But this devil is, you know, this devil is, is cutting, he's cutting the spirit, all right? And, you know, uh, the, the end is at hand, man. You know, the end is at hand. So, well, we ought to walk circumspectly, you know, each day, all right? You know, walk in wisdom towards towards them that are without. And, you know, hey, hey, man, we are living in a time of judgment. So any judgment that Jake gets, hey, man, don't get yourself involved, you know, uh, metal not, you know, well, uh, metal not with many matters, all right, and strive not, you know, strive not with a, a, a you know, strive not with a man, an angry man, you know, just, hey man, let, let the Lord do his thing, you know, and, and just uh, stay out the way because, you know, uh, you know, basically, uh, uh, the Lord is increasing the, uh, the vengeance spirits on earth and, um, hey, and don't, don't want, you know, don't be too, uh, don't be too desiring for for this world, the cares of this world. But get the things that you like, get the things you want. But remember, keep in mind the word. The word is very important. So, uh, um, yeah, man, just try to get what you can out of this because the devil's done. He's hurt. He's through. All right. And you can't take nothing with you on the chariot. The only thing the chariot wants is your soul. Keep that in mind. All right. Let's read Matthew 6. You know, we're going to read a couple more scriptures and close it. Uh, after this manner. All right. So Matthew 6 and 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay. So the name of the heavenly Father is hallowed. Let's look up the word hallowed. Meaning, hollow meaning. It says, made holy, consecrated, greatly revered, and honored. All right, so hollow means honored. It's greatly honored, and you can look up the uh, the Greek for it. Hallowed Greek. See, which is Hagia Oz. Hagia, wait. Ha Strong's G37. Hagiazzo. 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 Say it kind of weird. Um, to render or acknowledge or to be venerable or hollow. To separate from profane things. So the Lord is, is pure. All right. The Lord is separating his men. From the profane things of this world, okay. All right, so the Lord is 100% pure, all right, and dedicated to the Most High. It says, uh, consecrate, uh, consecrate things to the Most High, dedicate people to the Most High to purify, to cleanse externally, to purify by expiation from the guilt of sin, all right. So the Lord. You know, by Shema Shai, by way of the word, all right, cleans us of our sins by his name. Hallowed be thy name, okay? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. All right, the order, you know, the order in heaven is going to be done on earth. The prophecies must be fulfilled, all must come to pass. Give us this daily bread. Give us, day, give us this day our daily bread. And we look, we look up daily bread. Bread is artos. All right. 
food composed of flour mixed milk water and bake the Israelites made it in form of but you know it the bread is the word okay this, this is the food that we you know we eat all right um forgive us of our debts all right because we are in debt when how about shimmy shy because of our, our, our father's iniquities all right in, in our sins that we have committed in our past lives. So how we're paying back your how about Shimei Shai by constantly uh, uh, doing this work, all right, and constantly repenting each day and praying, you know, that's how, and that's how we are uh, are um, uh, paying our debts for your how about Shimei Shai. Daily listening to the word and daily uh, 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 repenting, all right, you know, you know, constantly renewing your mind. Remember, the Lord brainwashed us. Okay, as we forgive our debtors, okay, lead us not into temptation of this world, all right, because this world is temp is full of temptation, okay, but deliver us from evil, from thy hand, from thine, for thine is the kingdom, which is called the ki which the kingdom of Israel is going to be established, um, beginning with Yahweh, all right, Yahweh Shai, you know that the, the um that the monarchy, you know. So, um, and, and King in the throne of David, King David, okay, is going to make up that the, the, the 140, uh, 144,000 kings and then one third going on down, you know, that that proper structure. All right, for let you know, as uh, first Corinthians 14 and 40 says, let all things be done decently and in order. So, that kingdom come that will be done as in earth. Give us this daily bread. Give us this our daily bread and forget our debtor, debts. And as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Alright, so the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Al Shai is going to be established, but um the Lord is not going to accept this kingdom, man. It's full of wickedness, it's full of uh, uh pride and um and pride is not made for man, all right. So men have, you know, uh, they 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 feel as if, you know, uh, if their way doesn't go, it goes to the highway. So the Lord is not, you know, the Lord doesn't respect that. So the Lord got to destroy, you know, the wicked of the society, all right. And also, was going into, um, you know, you know how we got to be instructed, you know. So um, let me get a uh, Psalms two. Alright, let's go to Psalms 2 and 10. Be wise, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. So we are the future kings, okay? The elect men, the 144,000 are the future kings. Okay, so we're going to be the new uh, uh, righteous judges, Lord willing, we have that number. That's why we put on there for the hopeful elect, the bowels of mercy. You know, because as the Lord is merciful, we ought to be merciful too. All right, but merciful to, towards one another, one another all right? Who are speaking according to this word, according to the truth of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Be wise now, therefore, ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, serve the Lord with fear. So we serve Yahweh Bashim El with fear because we know what the Lord uh, is capable of doing to us. His, his judgment uh, 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 is instant, man, you know, and, and his correction, his correction is beautiful, all right? But to them that are without this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, his correction is grievous, all right? And rejoice with trembling, okay? Because we, we, we're going to get delivered, all right? We're going to be trembling, all right? And Yahweh Shai is the one that's going to be saving us, okay? No man can save us, you know, only Yahweh Shai. That's why, you know, it's better to put your co uh, confidence in um the, in the Lord than to put confidence in bad, you know? It's the son lest he be angry and ye perish from the way because, the, you know, the, uh, the word is Yahweh Shai. And ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled, but a little less are all they that put their trust in him. So the elect nation of Israel gonna put their trust in Yahweh Shai. All right. So we are the blessed ones. We are blessed to have this, you know, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We are blessed to have this truth. We are blessed for this light, you know, and we are, you know, blessed to, you know, see the scriptures through, you know, understand our forefathers' histories and and what they went through, you know. What did Solomon, Sol, what did Solomon ask for? You know, to judge of such a great people, because Israel is a great is a great people. They ask the dust, man. You know, 
for Second Chronicles. No, uh, Second Chronicles. I believe it's in um Yep, Second Chronicles chapter one verse ten. Give me now wisdom so that uh Solomon's asking the Heavenly Father, you know, what he wants. So let's let's start at verse nine. Matter of fact, let's start at verse nine. Now, O Yahweh, power, let thy promise unto David, my father, be established, because David David is what is king of Israel. All right. For thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth. So now, you know, he, uh, Solomon inherited that 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 uh, uh, the king the, the king status. All right, like the dust of the earth and a multitude, because the nation of Israel is like the sand of the sea. So we're represented, you know, you know we're represent a, a multiple of you know uh, Israel, you know, multiple of Israelites. Give me now wisdom and knowledge. That I may go out and come in before this people, for who can judge thy people? That is so great. Hey, man, you know Jake is great in everything, man. You know, uh, is sport, entertainment, sports. You know, uh, and you know they go with words, but they're following in, in, in the ways of the heathen, which which is why um, Yahweh Shah has to return because. The, the the way Jake is following the way that he did, they're very, very deep into it, you know, deep into the heathen's philosophies. All right. So so Yahweh Shai gave us this this wisdom and knowledge to judge such a great people by with his word, man. Which is why you see us on the highways and byways and the corners and the hedge and the concourses. We are we are given uh the wisdom and knowledge to judge such a great people, man. Alright. So and let's jump down to verse. Uh, let's just continue on. And the most high, and the most high said to Solomon, because this was in thy heart. So Yahweh was talking to Solomon. This was in thy heart. This was in your mind. And thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor. Now let's look up that. Let's look up riches, wealth, and honor. So wealth, nechak, neches, neches. You know, treasures, you know, meaning, uh, you know, um, liquid, all right. And honor is kabawad, all right. So it says, riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thy enemies, neither yet has asked long life, but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thy thyself that thou mayest judge my people over whom I have made thee king. So Solomon only asked it for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to judge over the nation of Israel. So the so um he could help Yahweh navigate, you know, navigate the, the children of Israel in a better path, you know, on how to be you know wise on a, how they're uh, conducting themselves and doing things. Um so verse twelve, you want to, uh, uh, verse twelve, wisdom and knowledge okay, is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee. Neither shall there any after thee have have the like. So Solomon was given wisdom and knowledge, and that's all he asked for. He wanted the, the wisdom and knowledge of the heavenly Father, okay, and that, that was and that delighted in the Lord to give him that man, because the, the the Lord wants you. To basically be spiritual, he wants you to, you know, be be of understanding with him, and, and that's what you know. That's what uh, the forefather, our forefathers, deprived of that wisdom and knowledge. All right. So Solomon obtaining that, you know, is given unto the children of Israel. It may, helps us navigate, you know, through uh, through a uh, 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 such a um, temptatious life, man. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to Isaiah 30, um, 
Let's go to Isaiah 62. Uh, if I can find it. Yeah. Isaiah 62. 6. Alright. I have set watchmen. Book of Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Which shall never hold, never hold their peace day nor night. Yet that they, yet that ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. So we're gonna keep on praising the Lord. We're gonna keep on mentioning the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai. You know, and it's verse seven, give him no rest. We ain't gonna give the Lord no rest till he establish, till he make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. Is Jerusalem a praise on the earth right now? No, no, because the people that are in the holy net are, you know, are false. You know. They're, they're um culture vultures you know they're the amalekites okay which, which which they go back to the nation of edom okay edom is the so-called white man um heritage and you also have uh, uh edom is the uh so-called white man's um edom is the so-called white man's heritage who go back to the forefather esau and you have other nations ruling <clears throat> you have other nations over there uh polluting the land as well man you know you got you got moab you got ishmael you got uh you know, Ham, you got many, you got many nations over there right now. All right. So Jerusalem is not a praise on the earth. All right. If Jerusalem was a praise on the earth, the earth was, it would be uh, very clean. It would be peaceful. There would be no war, no violence. All right. Yahweh Shai is not ruling yet. All right. So this word is what clean us. Let's go to um, Acts 11, starting verse 15. <clears throat> and as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell up on them as as on us at the beginning. Okay? So the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost fell upon the, uh, the, the men of the Lord, all right, after we repent and turn back to the Hebrew Israelite. Then remember, I, the word of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. All right. So the Holy Ghost is, is, is a fire, you know, that gives us this understanding of the, of the scriptures. All right. And, and uh, the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. Okay. Yep, book of John chapter 17, verse 17. Let's start verse 16. They are not of the world. All right, so we are not of this world, man. You know, we are not of the, the covetousness of this world, you know, the, the, the pleasures, the glamours of life. We, we are not of this world, man, because we see bigger and better things ahead of us. That's why we're, 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 we're the prophets of the Lord, because we, we are we are visionists. We, we see the, uh, see what's ahead of us. We see the things that's, that's going to happen before it happens, man, you know? We have a good insight of what we are about to attain. All right. As the scriptures say, we prophesy a part, but we see a part. But you know, what what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has a hold for us, you know, we we have to uh we have to show forth the works for him to give it to us. <clears throat> they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Okay? Sanctify through them, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth okay so separate them you know through, through the truth okay through the who does the, the um the spirit of yahweh bashim al-shai okay so the word is the truth all right so man's man's 
man's truth is, is from another man's uh, philosophy, which is false. You know, if it's not coming out of the scriptures, then it, then it's not it's not true. You know, as the book of Isaiah eight and twenty say. Um, let me just grab it. Eight and twenty say. Um, for the law and testament, if they speak not according to this word, the holy scriptures, the Bible, okay, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai, is because there is no light in them. There's no knowledge in them. All right. Remember what Solomon asked for for wisdom and knowledge of the heavenly Father, right? And where's the wisdom and knowledge of the heavenly Father? It's in the holy scriptures. Okay. All right. So we're gonna uh, end it. We're gonna end it with um, Revelations one and three. All right. Blessed is he that readeth. So blessed is the man that readeth. Not going off their own mind. Not going. To, not saying their own thoughts. Not not speaking. You know, vain things. All right. Blessed is the man that readeth. The Lord is looking for men, men and women and children that read. Blessed is the, he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. So what's written therein is true and it's faithful and true. Okay, the word of Yahweh Bashim is faithful and true. Just like in the days of Egypt, is, is the same as today. Just like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, is the same as today. Okay, remember, Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. The elect is vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Okay. For the time is at hand. So the time is at hand, you know. Um, Yahweh Hashem is getting ready to take out another kingdom. All right. Once again. All right. And this is, you know, the things of, this is the things of old. All right. You know, hey, man, you know, stay prayed up. Stay, um, keep believing. Keep the faith. All right. Keep reading, you know. Um, and keep listening to the videos. You know, this is our salvation ticket. Hope this lesson was edifying. When want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekah, Kadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and teach well and lead Israel by a great example to his name. Peace, citation to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shai for salvation. Shalom, Makim, stay strong in the spirit. We almost out of here with the salvation. Yahweh Shai, Shalom.